how do I see any screw holes? No. Good. All right. Now I'm going to unscrew this, and I'm going to use this as my uh, mortise for the forge out check. Ah, but first, I want to sand this down with a little 120, just a little bit. Okay. Let's take a look at that ring again. See if that's yeah, that's going to work fine. You see? And then the uh, the seed will just screw onto there like that. And that'll be the top. I'll show you how to fill it once everything's done. Okay, now I flipped it around and I crudely uh, scraped out where the uh, tenon is to fit on the base piece. And now I'm just going to scrape away from there and uh, I'll leave it large and then nibble away uh, till, it, till it fits. Now that should be enough of a bump to tell me if this is going to fit or not. That is a press fit. So that's perfect. That's what I want. broke. Just a little bit. Oh, both sides. Both sides. Wow. Well, crap. Are we going to be able to salvage it? That's the question. try. I do have glue. Yeah, that should, that should glue down fine. I honestly don't think I've ever had that happen. Interesting. Okay. still holding together so I'm going to keep pushing my luck for a little while here. As I was saying, ah. Alright then, uh, so yeah as you can see this kind of flew off, but no uh, no problem. This is going to go on here anyway. They all oriented like that so the grains kind of almost look like they're matching up. Oh wow they really do. <laughs> look at that. I don't know if you can see how that looks like the grains are matching up. But anyway, like I say, I'm going to glue these chips that came out. Here, let me show you what broke here. Uh, I guess the compression was just too much. I'm going to glue these little chips back in with some super glue. And I'm going to glue the uh, two halves together. Yeah. Then, what we'll do is we'll glue the, uh, the lid in with the uh, yeah, container. That's what we're doing. All right, so here's what I've done. I've uh, super glued the pieces in. I taped them down, and they're uh, good and strong. And I figured, well, you know what? This is still quite thick in here. Um, I'm just going to super glue the the top right on the base right now, and that way I can chuck it up and turn the turn the uh, the cap right on top of here. And that's what I'm going to do.
How's that look? That looks all right. Got a little gap here, but that's okay. I kind of want that separation. It looks neat. You know, I'm just going to roll that over a little bit. Oh, I've got some tear out here. Chip out and fix that. I'm going to thin this down a little bit. I don't need it that thick. And for that, I'll use my skew. There. That should do it. Oh, yeah, perfect. Perfect. Nice tight fit. I'm going to use super glue to hold that in as well. And I might just for a security's sake put a couple little pins in there, a couple little nails. Yeah, I think I'll do that as well as the, uh, but I'll do that when it's off the lathe. So far so good. Okay, as far as the main body, I think we're, uh, we're pretty much done here. I sanded this to 120 now, and uh, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll take it off, uh, get the lid glued in, and then I'll get to uh, cutting the holes. Okay, so I've poked some holes in here, that's going to guide my, my drill, and I'll just sand those marks off. <laughs> so this is my hole saw. It's a beast. <laughs> I got it at a garage sale for $2, and this is... Uh, this is how you uh, change the size of the blade you want to cut with. Oh, man. This is how you do it. This is a dangerous piece of work, let me tell you what. But you know what? It's the only one I got that uh, gives me a hole big enough to use. Now this, uh, I'm pretty sure the intent for this hole saw is uh, not for wood. This is more like for drywall, chip rock, you know, uh, styrofoam. But I'm a trooper. What can I say? So, I'm going to try that out. If anything happens, tell my family I love them. Alright folks, here it is. Wish me luck. I just want to make sure I'm going real nice and straight. All right, there we go. Uh, I finally did manage to uh, get the holes drilled, but that last hole, I ended up completely stripping the screw that's in here. So now this totally dangerous tool is, well, of no danger anymore until I can get another set screw that'll match that. I don't have one here, so, but I'm not too worried about it. I, I really got to get a different tool saw or some better Forstner bits, bigger ones at least. Anyway, there we go. Holes are drilled. I sanded off the, uh, the broken corners. I don't think the, uh, the birds are going to mind too much. The lid out of here. I'm just going to put a bead around the edge here. A generous amount. But not too much. Don't need too much, that's for sure. That might be a little too much. Hopefully not. Just going to set that in there. Press it down for a few seconds. One more thing, I almost forgot about this. I've also uh, turned a cone, just a simple cone. Uh, I think this is a piece of scrap cherry that I used. But it's going to go inside, and it's going to keep the seeds from just gathering in center. That way it'll kind of push it out to the side so the birds can get at it. And I'm going to fasten that in with a couple of screws. Good. So now I can screw the, the cone in from the bottom. And... Uh, That'll hold that in place. I'll also give it a little bit of glue. But another thing I want to do is I want to mount this and I want to get a hole drilled directly in the center as well. I'm get that mounted up. Tighten it up. There we go. Like I say, I just want to drill a, drill a little hole down through the center here. And I want that hole 
to match this uh, this pen. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this pen to stick it into a, a stand that I already have outside uh, that has a hole in it, just the right size for a for a fountain pen. Well, fountain pen, ballpoint pen. You know what I mean, a pen. Yeah, I'm going to use my three eighths to uh, drill the hole. I'm not even going to bother using my uh, tailstock and my uh, uh, Jacob's check. I'm just going to use my hand drill here. There we go, and we're through. Good. So to fasten on this cone piece, I've drawn some concentric circles in here while I still had it on the lathe, uh, just so I can line up the uh, the cone. That looks pretty good. So, just around the perimeter, I'm going to put some super glue. This won't harm the birds at all because it's going to be uh, well, not exposed. And they won't be able to get at it anyway. So, here we go. Let that set up for a couple of minutes. Oops. And then I'll screw in the uh, screws. Alright, there we go. Uh, I thought I had two little screws, but I had to use a little one and a big one. But it worked out fine. No big deal. Um, and now what I have to do is switch my bit over. So I have to drill down a little bit into the uh, into the cone itself, just so I have a good hold. And I'm just going to go a little bit with the uh, 3 8 drill. Sounds like I need a battery change. That should be good. I'm going to go about another half inch with my uh, quarter inch drill. That should do it. Now, why did I do that? Well, because this way the hole is just kind of sloppy, but you see the tapered end here? That goes down to a quarter inch. So when I shove that in there, that's going to give it a nice tight tight fit. And that's the uh, that's the stem. That's going to keep this in place while the birds are on there feeding it. And I'll show you how that works. But first, well, i got to get this out. I'm going to drip some uh, super glue down in there now, just so this stays in there. Couple dabs will do me. Don't need much. I'm gonna swirl it around as I'm getting it down in there. There. Now, that should work pretty good. I also wanted to make a few drainage holes, so I'm gonna put some drainage holes beside the uh, Beside the cone, but in between the uh, the feeding holes here. Probably going to lose a little bit of seed through those, but I'm sure the birds will find it, clean it up. Just going to do two, I think. Sort of a nice clean hole. It'll do. Clean that out around there. Good. There we have it. Now let's see the top. This is where the seed goes. Just like that. Alright, let's get it into place, shall we? So here's the old feeder, minus the dome. It's been out in the weather already for, for quite some time. But yeah, my dome just came off. That's all that happened there. And you see, that's all I that's all it's been sitting on there with. And the only way, reason the dome fell off was because I dropped it. And uh, it popped off, and I could have cleaned it up and uh, fixed it. But I decided against it just to make a brand new one. And here's the, uh, here's the stand with a little hole in it. Well, I could probably secure that a little better. Looks like it's weathering quite nicely. Anyway, let's put the other one on there. Okay. There we go. I'm sure the birds are going to love it. <laughs> That's how we've got it. Got a bag of bird seed here. I don't think I can do this without dumping it.
Peter, set it upside down on there. I think. There we go. There we go. Flip it upside down, or right side up, I should say. And there you have it. Four little fo holes of food. And I can see where the level line is. There we have it. There. And they just perch on the corners and happily feed away. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.